Welcome to Civil Designers Water Network video. We're going to be looking at uh, all the anything to do with pressurized networks. Um, let's go and have a look at opening up the water data set. We can then just change the display settings. So I'll switch off the stormwater for now and this and uh, switch off anything else. So we just have the water switched on. We're going to attach uh, existing water database. So we'll just go to project settings, click on water, and we can then browse for the water data set. So you can save this project into your own folder. To save the project and now I'm going to save the the DTM, the digital terrain model. I'll save it into the same project. You can send the roads as well with it as well, if we'll ask you. And we can also save the sewer data set. So, so you typically can do this if you're backing up a project as well. It's one way of, of backing it up. Another way of backing up of course is if you do file archive. You can also back up and zip up the, the project. And lastly we just back up that water um, water files to um, to that folder okay, when you're in water mode you can then go to file import and you'll see we have a host of different methods of bringing in the projects from other uh, programs and uh, bringing it into Civil Design itself. If you look at the default settings, you've got the pipe defaults and the no default. Whether you're creating it graphically or if you are importing it from CAD, the settings that are here are the pipes from which are going to be used. Uh, when modeling the pipes in. The node defaults isn't too important these days, especially when we have uh, earth connections and other ways of connecting the model, but you can look at um, changing these settings. That they're not as used anymore because of the other new features in, in Civil Designer for drawing water or, for instance, we use house connections. We don't use nodes anymore but it's still available to you. Okay, on the display settings, so you can choose what you want to display. You can always right click and there's the different information which you can display about the network in plan view. You can also change the text height, we can then press OK, and then you've got all the items showing. Now you can modify your network. So here you can see you've got your summary of how many pipes you have, how many nodes. You've also got your pipe lengths. There are newer tools in the software to show um, your bends and all your fittings, all your specials for the network as well. We can go to the nodes and we can search for a particular node. In the manual they've asked us to search for uh, 72. That brings up node 72.
you can click on the show button and you'll notice that Civil Designer will only zoom to that location where the node is. Once you've closed this dialog, you can then zoom to anywhere else. Um, there are new ways. Please uh, look on YouTube. You'll find my new ways of doing boreholes. Uh, rather than using nodes, you can actually model an, ex an, ex an exact borehole um, much better than this method. For the reservoir, you need to show which pipe is the inlet and which pipe is the outlet. We're going to look for pipe 86 and we're going to browse to that location. We then can look at our pump stations, we can look at our pump curves. For this example, we're going to choose additionally working. We'll then press OK. We can then analyze the model, so I'm going to press escape to end that task. We can go for error checking, look for the errors. If you do find errors, then you can click on it and say show, it will take you to the location to and do your check your errors. You can also go to tools, check geometry and check the geometry of your network as well. We're going to start the analysis at 6 in the morning. Um, and then we can look at what is happening during the course of 24 hours where you have water being drawn off at different locations of the town, at different demands, patterns. So you need to now check over a 24 hour period what's happening with your network. I'm going to look at the pressure and this will be a pressure that is time related. You'll see that there's a pressure max and a pressure min as well and that's to do with over the 24 hour period what is the max, what is the min but in this, look, in this example this is just the normal one so that is at an instance during the day so you'd need to find out what time of day that's happening. So on your um, slide out you will see the water and then you can browse down to the results and here's where you can change the different times of day so as the different times of day um, happen uh, are displayed you'll see different results You can also click on the node itself and then go to the graph 
So here you can see you've got your graph over 24 hours. And I'm now I'm using the color schemes method and changing the times of day. So you'd probably want to uh, produce um, during the different peaks of the day, uh, plot out the different um, drawings with the different colors for the different times of day, say 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. so that you can get the extremes. And also at 4 a.m. in the morning when the pressures are extremely high, on your network, you'd probably also want to plot out uh, information to show that. Great, I hope this helped. Uh, let us know if you've got any questions. Cheers for now.